Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake. So we've gone through two of the uh, episodes in the Night Springs DLC. We've gone through number one fan, North Star, and now Timebreaker. Um, based on the name, I'm going to guess this is an offshoot of Quantum Break, which uh, haven't played. Haven't played yet. So I know nothing about the game. All I know is that there's like time stuff involved. So, a lot of this stuff is going to be beyond me, but Northstar wasn't really... I don't think it's really going to spoil anything. Because uh, Northstar didn't really have anything to do with Control. Even number one fan didn't really have anything to do with Alan Wake either. But let's do this. Final one. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it, and I will come back for you, my love. Everyone, take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba 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 -ba, da -da -da. Before I speak with the director, let's take a look around. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I got like. So cool, we are making this shot. Let's dive in. Oh, all of a sudden I got like uh, Mortal Kombat on the map, on the mind, uh, and like I'm Johnny Cage or something. I've kind of been playing Mortal Kombat one on the side, so that's why I wanted to. We have uh, that's why. I, to talk about. That's why it uh, popped in my head. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. 
He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. Your vision of the multiverse. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep true. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, it's very meta. Your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. About my gadget. So, the vortex and the gadget. I'm Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> Jesus. <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. That deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. Boys and Pell Entertainment since 1995, Night Spring City. No! This is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I'd blanked out, and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before. But that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. Got a gun. And I'm not afraid to use it. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. <laughs> Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off-the-wall, method-acting reality show? 
That would be really cool, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> Night Springs City Park, parallel rea parallel reality bleed zone. Cross dimensional anomaly, no trespassing. Authorized rec personnel only. Oh, what did Rex stand for again? He went through them so fast. Oh, what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node. That was the SCN. Use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? Yeah. And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. this was a prank anymore i heard a voice in my head it sounded like me insanely i heard the thoughts of another version the one living here the trailer was his i'd check it out don't think just act the handwriting was mine Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The oh, the this is basically stuff from the um, from the game, kind of. The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. All right, all right, I had to go right. look for it. You are here. Oh, okay. I, you know what's funny? I thought it was over here, like right there. I'm glad this actually cleared things up. It makes it makes a big difference. Okay, there's something else going on. The Luma Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy. The other me had hidden away from this tree. So then, what am I doing here? He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. We're, what if we're an agent of Dor, like a sleeper agent, and we're finding all this shit for him? Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? That's something about a waterfall, too. Did you mean a tree fall? Can I not go that way? That yeah, would seem like it. Oh, I can go up this way. Be around here somewhere. Whoa. I mean, talk about hiding it in plain sight. Trailer and the TV. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. 
You said you were the chosen one. You said out of all the others, you were the chosen one. Fuck. Fuck this shit. I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent. Played by me. It's all true. It's no hoax. No video game. It's really happening. Yep. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. The door yeah, will be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. <laughs> but I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shift on the TV to get out. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. Mustache. Ah, the ocean view. No, so this no, one's no, no, five no. sides. Oh no, no. Okay. Um sorry guys, I'm actually gonna take a quick break because I've been sitting here for about a little over two and a half hours. Because uh, I've been recording these back to back. I'm just going to take a quick break. Okay, I'm back. So, welcome to Night Springs Ocean View Hotel. Enjoy your stay. You know, something makes me feel like... I didn't mean to do that. Something tells me I'm, I'm not really going to enjoy my stay. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. Entertainment lobby, tango lobby, and coffee lobby. So I did notice first, so the woods we traveled to, it showed a, a four pointed diamond. Now it's showing uh, a pentagon. I mean, diamonds are four pointed, but you know what I mean, like it had the cross inside. This one has the basically like Vesuvian man, I guess, like with the five lines. Is it Vesuvian Man or Vitruvian Man? I think it's Vitruvian Man. I had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. It's always the right time to visit Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to the hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending bre never breakfast buffet. Craving one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby where happy hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to, your, to the time of your choice. At the Vichy Ocean View Hotel, the right time is only a door away. That's pretty cool.
see again. Oh, I see what's going on. Time was broken here. The corridors led to the same lobby, but in different times. So, okay, I get now what's going on. I'm pulling the right trigger too fast after dodging. Or left trigger, sorry. I'm pulling the uh, left trigger too fast, so it's not aiming. It's just basically doing this. Okay. Now I figured out the problem. So can I only read that from the other side? Yeah, it looks like the clocks showed oh. the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. To do? Okay, you got this. Find another node, another TV. Uh Yeah. So that's the evening. More multiverse science babble. It gave me the creeps. So there's the door. Or the or the TV. A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. No one a poison pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then maybe Poison Pill didn't even exist in this reality. Thrilling adventures through time and space. Funny. The secret origin of Door includes a 3D pull-up map of the Ripple Effect Corporation, the zaniest story we've ever published. Okay, so we gotta go through the middle, I guess? I don't think we've been through there yet. Yep. The fuck? I can't move anything. So the node's not here. <laughs> so what am I missing here? So this is a Tango Lobby, there's obviously no node. I guess we go back to the Entertainment Lobby? Oh! What's 6 o'clock? So I guess 6 o'clock is when we first came in. Let's try this one. Wait, 
been here before. It's 12 o'clock is entertainment lobby. Gotcha. So three o'clock. So what's six o'clock? So I guess six o'clock is where we first came in. So let's try the coffee lobby. So let's try nine o'clock. Um, I'm really sorry guys. I I'm sorry if you're like yelling at me about like something obvious. I'm not understanding where it is. I've been everywhere. So entertainment lobby is where the TV is. We're in the tango lobby right now. We're at three o'clock. Nine o'clock there was nothing, and six o'clock there was nothing. I'm guessing six o'clock is where we first came in. Or maybe it was the coffee lobby? Let's try nine o'clock again. So this is where we came in. We came in at the 9 o'clock. So let's go back to 6 o'clock. So 6 o'clock has to be where it is. Wasn't I just here? No. Because I didn't pick up this stuff. What am I missing? Maybe I need to go in that order. Entertainment Tango, then Coffee Lobby. It's 12, 3, then 9. Let's try that.
then nine, which is straight ahead. Which was at 12 o'clock. When right I down. used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Door. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. Wait, I just realized. How is this revolver holding nine bullets? Their revolvers are six shooters, aren't they? Or eight shooters? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if enough this about time, guns. She knew. If I could find my leader, she could help. Trippy. Something was different. A strange feeling. Still, yet moving. Like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free. Like text read out loud. It's, it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. I thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the Vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real. See. Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all, in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. I love this kind of music. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am on the threshold. The door everywhere. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them. 
bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Turn your lives. be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me. <laughs> Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. Just wish you goddamn luck. I was an RAC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, door. The master of many worlds. Oh, cool. God, this is so cool. So the right trigger does both the flashlight and the... No! Shit. This looks like a GBA game to me. Like a Game Boy Advance game. A very rudimentary one. But I guess, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Impressive. Out of all the versions, you might be the chosen one. Join me and we'll rule together. No, never! 
You will regret this. Also, I was lying. <laughs> oh, that one's broken. Retro. I've been brought to the very edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. Yeah, I, I can't. One, two, three, four, five, I had six. To find the door or the means to travel on. So this one's ten sided. What is that? A dodecahedron? Or is that twelve? I can't remember. Well, I mean that's clearly where the next one is. You made a mistake. Go to hell. <laughs> Oh my god, I have 20 of these? You know, I don't see what's so funny, Mr. Door. That is, in fact, your real name. We both know it's not. It's Mr. Window. Mr. Shithouse. No, I know where I'm going. Come at me first. All right. Well, it's two there. Fuck. So it's like that fucking close. matrix. I knew I was close now. The real world.
Is this a text-based game? After dreamless sleep, you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. Focus. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape comes to your mind. A pentagonal trapez trapezohedron. How do you know the name of this shape? That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the stream of consciousness, the ebbs and, f and flows of your thoughts. Hold yourself together. Oh shit. You fight to hold yourself together. Swim against the current to break to the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something, and there is you. Slowly, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here, in the farthest reaches of the multiverse, you have reached a reality where only ideas exist. An idea of reality. A conceptual reality. A thought tries to form in your mind. Focus on the thought. You focus on the thought and it becomes clear. In the beginning, there was the word. Here, only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world and you win it. Decipher the words. The words describe you standing in a barren conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity. In a place outside time, you wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above, ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. Ooh, imagine a cup of coffee or imagine a cup of tea. I'm more of a tea guy, so I'm going to go with tea. As you imagine it, a cup of tea... Your hot chosen beverage manifests itself. The idea of it, the con concept of its smell and taste is real. You wonder why you didn't go with coffee as it is your favorite drink. You sigh wistfully. You imagine the sigh. You understand that here, your thoughts are as real as anything. Assess your situation. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you're on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be the solution here as well? Focus on the master of many worlds or focus on the redhead woman. Ooh. Well. I don't think it really matters. Ooh. Excuse me. I don't think it really matters because the game's fairly linear. Let's focus on the Master of Many Worlds. You focus your thoughts on the Master of Many Worlds. The desert dreamscape around the desert dreamscape around you darkens. You vaguely feel the terrible weight of an alien godlike awareness shift many realities away. How can you possibly find him, let alone face him? Meditate to learn or prepare for war. I'm going to meditate to learn. You calm yourself and seek harmony, striving to expand your consciousness to gaze to the secrets of the multiverse and understand your enemy. After struggling for what feels like a lifetime, you feel no closer to your goal. Your mind is not pure enough to grasp the secrets of the multiverse, let alone comprehend its master. You need to study this art to rise to a higher level of awareness. Uh, okay, set out into the desert to find answers. You set out in search of answers. Featureless, the desert continues as far as you can see in every direction. Oh, fuck. Uh, go north. You go north. Desert continues to stretch before you. Above, ideas of supernovas flare up and wink out. Go north. You go north, sand slipping beneath your feet. Sweat beads on your forehead. Above, galaxies spiral endlessly. Keep going north. You go north. The footprints behind you are the evidence of your progress. The desert seems to continue forever. Above, strange constellations suggest disturbing shapes. Go north. As you wander, you start to lose all sense of time and place. Just when you're about to lose all hope, you think you see something glimmering to the east. Go east. You approach what you saw, hopeful and desperate. There is nothing there. It was a mirage. Your strength fails you, and you fall to your knees. 
I'm going to keep crawling north. Growing weaker, you crawl slowly north. You're parched and starving. Dimly, you realize you're close to dying. You are lying on the ground. Uh, channel your mind. You strain to clear your murky head, willing the universe to show its secrets to you. Suddenly, out of a blinding light, a silhouette of a man appears. Look at the man. He looks like you. But the way he carries himself in the giant... And the glint of deep wisdom in his eyes tells you that this is you from the future. He offers you a seed. Uh, look at the seed. It seems like any other seed. But when you stare at it, the image of a towering tree flashes in your mind. Take it. You accept the seed the man offers. Then he is gone. Uh, plant the seed. You plant the seed in the ground. It takes root and grows. The sapling rises from the ground. It grows fast. Soon you stand at the foot of a gigantic tree, reaching for the skies. It is the tree of life. It is the world tree. A memory drifts down through it, through its boughs. That, I think that's what it's been saying. A memory drifts down through its boughs like a falling leaf. Follow the memory. You follow the memory and see a comic book in your hands. Are they your hands? You can't remember comic is about the legend of a god who hung himself from a branch of the world tree, sacrificing himself to gain secret knowledge. Uh, contemplate the nature of sacrifice. Yeah. The tree looms over you, inscrutable in its silence. To gain the universe of secret knowledge, you know what you need to do. Fine, hang ourselves. You will sacrifice yourself to gain the knowledge you're after, to be reborn with it. You climb the trunk and hang yourself from a branch. As you begin to choke, your mind travels along the branches of the tree on a spiritual journey. Follow the branches where they lead. The branches of the tree reach out in all realities, supporting all realities. The multiverse is born. You sense all the realities around you. All lives and all history unfurling like a river flows. Forked lightning strike. A flower blooming. A slow motion explosion blossoming. Like a tree. You hang there for nine nights. It feels like an eternity. Then the branch breaks and you fall to the ground. You hear the tree groan. Ooh. Look at the tree. You see that the tree has grown old and is dying. From the highest branch, a magic fruit sprouts and ripens. As you stand watching, the tree dies. You notice the fruit has fallen to the ground next to you, alongside a large crooked branch. Uh, pick up the fruits. You pick up the magic fruit. It rots away in your hand, leaving behind a familiar-looking seed. Suddenly, you become aware of a man lying on the ground close by. He seems weak and ill, moaning to himself. Something stirs in your mind, a forgotten memory of a faded dream. Offer the seed to the man. As you step closer, he lifts his gaze to look at you. You recognize him. He is you from the distant past. He takes a seed, then he is gone, vanishing as suddenly as he appeared. I pick up the branch. You pick up the crooked branch, tracing its path through your fingers. A distant memory stares. What was your mission? You have gained so much knowledge, yet you struggle to remember where you were trying to go. Try to remember. You look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you with a jolt. You were trying to find your way to the master of many worlds. There was something about a door. Focus on the door. With that, a door begins to come into focus. You realize it's missing something. Uh, you use the branch with the door. The branch bonds with the door, creating a handle. With that, the door is fully realized. Open the door. You grasp the handle and open the door. Step over the threshold. You step inside and stand in a room with a man, master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concept and ideas into world, into words, shaping this reality. He lifts its head. Is Alan Wake the master of many worlds? You stare at the man in the eye. With a shock, you realize you have made a mistake. You have come to the wrong place. 
The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you were looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. Oh, this is the room. That's so cool. We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Dwar. And this is Night Springs. Loving memory of James McCaffrey. Rest in peace, buddy. Seeing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought I was getting closer, things shifted around, and I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches the closer i felt to going mad such a loss man Okay, so I actually want to see if that was the actual ending, or if that was, like, uh, a fake ending, you know what I mean? Because, I don't know, that felt very anticlimactic. Okay, so, while there are many branching paths in that specific um, DLC, there is only one ending. So, yeah, uh, like, you could pick different things, like, instead of the man of many doors um, to focus on, like, I could have focused on the red-headed woman. And it would have given me, like, different di like, um, not dialogue choices, like, different branch, different branching paths. But it would still lead to going to the room with Alan Wake in it. So. Um, interesting uh, DLC expansions, uh, the Night Springs episodes. Um... If I had to rank them uh, based on like the ones I liked, honestly, I'd probably go in the order I played them in. The um, the number one fan, then North Star, then Timebreaker. Number one fan, like it was so so cheesy, so corny, but it was like perfect. You know, what I mean, like in terms of like fan fiction, like we 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 learn a lot about Rose in this game, but we barely know anything about like her fan fiction stuff. It this is clearly fan fiction, um, and it's 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 done so well. It I it's one of those things where again, it's a nice change of pace from everything. Just like the the We Sing episode. Um, it's I, I found it extremely charming. Uh, North Star was uh, uh, yeah my second favorite just because I really love Control. I love Jesse. Um, I think I may actually like the Control game more than Alan Wake if I really have to think about it. Because I really love like the whole SCP kind of stuff. I love going around in control and learning about like the different items and uh, you know what different powers they hold. 
you know, learning about different people and what kind of experiences they had. Uh, when I see people like normal people, like citizens, or even fuck, like agents talking about like the shit that they went through on the like certain cases. Um, and let's be honest, I enjoyed basically fighting as Jesse, like going around like flying and um, you know being able to like levitate, like throw objects, like that. That shit's cool, man. Like, let let's be honest here. Um. But I do really love the kind of like horror story Alan Wake goes for. Um, like yeah, if I if I had to if I had to kind of compare them, I much prefer Control's uh, gameplay mechanics. But Alan Wake's uh, themes and ambience, uh, well, even gameplay mechanics, story mechanics, I guess I would say. With like the, the the whole, uh, you know, like wall board in Saga's head, or like the plot, switching the plots and the scenes, and uh, as Alan Wake, like that stuff was really cool. I really liked that stuff. Again, I felt with Alan, it was a little bit underutilized, even though I felt his sections were a bit too long for my taste. But, um, anyways, I'm I'm, I'm kind of rambling on. North Star was a like number one fan was a nice change of pace. Uh, North Star was pretty good. Uh, it was it was a pretty cool conspiracy thing. Timebreaker Timebreaker I felt like was short. I felt it was the shortest out of all three of them. Um, and actually, if I'm remembering correctly, number one fan is the only one that ha actually had like a boss. With uh, when you're fighting uh, the the brother Alan Alan Wake's brother. When he turns into like a werewolf and shit. But, but yeah. So the next one, Lake House, um, I believe it's slated to come out sometime in October. Not entirely sure. Um, but I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it and uh, we'll play it as, as soon as it comes out. So for right now, that does it for Alan Wake. Uh, the long journey of playing uh, Control, then Alan Wake, uh, the first one, then this, uh, so I could finally play it. Um, and actually, Alan Wake 2 is one of the main reasons I started this channel. Again, I wanted to chronicle uh, my, my, my playthrough of it. I don't know why, I just felt like, I felt like this was the game to do it for me. This was the game that really spoke to me, and I waited to play it for the channel. So I, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the playthrough, uh, my sucking at the game a lot, my, uh, my my ramblings about it, my blaming the game, like, why doesn't this button fucking work? Whatever. It, it's all in good fun. But for now, as I said, that will do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.